Fans are ecstatic to see Charlie Cox play Daredevil in MCU again. Following his unexpected cameos in Hawkeye and Spider-Man, Naomi Haim returns in She-Hulk Atonia Claw. You're about to go in a brand new series called Daredevil Born Again, but this Daredevil is different. Let's explore and learn more about it. Despite being billed as limited series at first, the next Daredevil series will comprise 18 episodes. Though he seems to be killed in Hawkeye, Kingpin is expected to make a comeback as the primary enemy. There hasn't been any formal confirmation of the Defender's return despite the hopes of many fans. Fans are excited for further information about this intriguing new addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well as the possible reunion of well-loved characters from the Marvel Netflix era. Keep checking back for information on the much awaited Daredevil MCU series. Though there is enthusiasm about the impending series Daredevil Born Again, many aspects are still unknown. The show is currently under production. We do know that, in keeping with current Marvel programming, it will only be accessible for streaming on Disney+. Fans had hoped for a spring 2024 release, however the series is currently facing an extended delay because of the ongoing strikes. But fans of Daredevil won't be let down. Matt Murdock returns in She-Hulk Atonian Law, Episode 8 approaching appropriately named Ribbit and Repet. Though there are still a lot of unanswered questions regarding Daredevil's standalone series, this crossover event should satisfy those who have been hoping for his return. The seasoned team of Matt Coleman and Chris Ode, well known for their work on the 2010 series Covert Affairs, is selected to pan it. They are the first to appear in the MCU and they will execute and they will executive produce the whole thing. Arrow Wars writers Jill Blankenship and Grain Godfrey, who are well known for their work on DC television programs, have joined the writers' room to further expand the creative team for the series. This blending of talents from Marvel and DC realms gives the adored character new insights. Exciting about the show's potential, Michael Cuesta, who directed critically acclaimed shows like Homeland and Dexter, has been revealed as directing the pilot season. Excitement is being generated by the cost of the upcoming television series, Daredevil Born Again. Fans' excitement was spurred by the return of Vincent G. Onofrio and Charlie Cox as important characters. Michael Gandolfini, who is well known for the many scenes of the new arc, has also joined the cast in an unidentified capacity. Gandolfini mentioned that his character is from Staten Island, which adds an exciting layer of intrigue to the production, even though even though his character is still very much a mystery. With each new member of the cast, excitement for this much awaited series come back grows. Sandrine Holt, Nikki M. James and Margarita Leviva are among the cast members of the next series. The wife of the infamous kingpin, Vanessa Fisk, will be portrayed by Sandrine Holt. Elias Zrud held this position in Netflix, Daredevil, R.T. Froshan from Carnival Row joined the cast in March 2023 and assumed the role of Harry. Harry is one of the main characters in the series, therefore fans are curious about his part in the plot even though information regarding his participation is yet unknown. The show promises a new perspective on the Marvel Universe with this diverse and skilled cast and viewers are excited to see how the characters and storylines develop. Fans are thrilled about the casting announcement for Daredevil Born Again, especially since John Bernthal, who plays Frank Castle aka the Punisher is returning. Many people praised Bernthal's portrayal of the character for its realistic and gritty interpretation of an ultra-violent anti-hero in both Daredevil Season 2 and his own spin-off series. The potential outcomes of his incorporation into the MCU are intriguing. The planned project gains more complexity with the revolution that Nikki M. James would be playing Kristen McDuffie, a crucial character from the Daredevil comics. McDuffie's involvement suggests a possibly intricate plot and a faithful adaptation. Fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and fans of Daredevil are both excited about this news. There are a lot of casting speculations going around about who might be in the casts of upcoming Marvel series. Especially there is a lot of talk about a character that debuted in Hawkeye in her own program, which is slated to premiere in 2023. Alequa Cox is expected to play Echo once more. Fans' curiosity has been sparked by Charlie Cox's appearance in the series, which suggests a potential link to his portrayal of Daredevil. Given Echo's encounter with Kingpin in Hawkeye, it's likely that the program will explore these characters' outcomes. Fans are already awaiting the 2023 series in hopes of learning more about these adored characters and their positions in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because of the intriguing cast dynamic. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Jennifer Walters, better known as She-Hulk, has developed a close bond with Matt Murdock, aka the Daredevil. Tatiana Maslany's return to the role in the next series is much anticipated by fans. 
The fun doesn't stop though. The fun doesn't stop there though. Numerous members of the Daredevil sporting cast are expected to appear in this new series, as they were crucial to the success of the first. As they were crucial to the success of the first one. The official confirmation is still pending. Optimism is strong given Charlie Cox declared desire to reunite with his former co-stars in the role of Daredevil. The plot of the new program will have depth and nostalgia thanks to the return of cherished characters and actors, which is the promise of this possible reunion. Fans have taken a liking to Deborah and Wall, best known for her depiction of Daredevil's fiery reporter Karen Page and Eldon Hansen, who played Matt's business partner and best friend Foggy Nelson. Although a lot of people are hoping to see them back in the new program, unreliable stories have made it seem unlikely. Still, the possibility of them being there is a delightful treat for loyal fans who are waiting impatiently for a word of their return in the series. Wilson Bethel, who took inspiration from Bullseye, the renowned comic book adversary of Daredevil, to play the insane psychopath Benjamin Quinn Dexter, it has been revealed that Ayelet Zurer will not be reprising her role as Vanessa Mariana Fisk, which will disappoint admirers of her portrayal. In fact, it's clear that Zora won't be playing Vanessa anymore because her character has been recast. Viewers are now intrigued about how Wilson Bethel's Dex and the new Vanessa will interact in the ongoing story as a result of this development, which bodes well for more mystery and drama in the show. Fans are awaiting Daredevil's return with great anticipation, but She-Hulk Waters have noticed a tiny change in Matt Murdock's persona. There is a discernible shift in the show's tone, even though they don't totally diverge from the original. Fans are by this new Daredevil version's character in tone, and they want to see how it fits into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and whether it will give the adored character new angles. Charlie Cox recently gave insights into how his character fits into this new world by talking about the tonal alterations in the upcoming Daredevil season. He mentioned how much he was enjoying working on this adaptation and made a suggestion that the Daredevil from the Netflix series might still be around in this new version. According to Cox, the character will make a smooth transition while maintaining the main features of the previous iteration. Fans' excitement for the potential continuation of the lovable Daredevil we've grown to know and love has increased as a result of these insights, heightening the anticipation for the future season. It is evident from the much evaded reboot of the show that prior canon and storylines are not supposed to exist in this universe. Charlie Cox character Matt Murdock has re-embraced his daredevil identity. Cox's assertion to this is season 1, not season 4, nevertheless raises intriguing possible, as it implies that the character's story might be rewritten possibly with alterations and new viewpoints, exciting fans to explore the unknown that lies ahead. With improved production value and the addition of more legendary heroes, the reimagining of the classic moment is what fans can expect when Daredevil returns to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This new interpretation of the character could be exactly what the franchise needs to get back on track. Fans can expect an exciting remake that blends iconic Daredevil aspects with the broader Marvel Cinematic Universe thanks to a larger production team and more resources. The Daredevil Born Again production has encountered several obstacles. The WGA writer's strike first resulted in production art. The current SAG AFTRA actress strike has presented a fresh obstacle despite conclusion of the strike. Before it was cancelled, the show had already started filming in New York for two months. The title character's actor, Charlie Cox, had originally stated that filming would take place from February to December 2023. Fans are anxiously expecting the return of the show, but the current state of affairs is uncertain due to the ongoing strikes that are interfering with the production schedule and casting doubt on when it will be released. You must be excited to watch this show, aren't you? Let's wait till it's released. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching our content, then do like, share and subscribe to our channel.